you've spent a lot of effort setting up the nodes, running some experiments, analyzing the network and security. Now it comes to the end of your lab or your, your, your day and you want to shut down. Uh, what are your options? Of course, you can power off the nodes. Uh, let's try that on node three. We can simply use the, the command to shut down gracefully the Linux computer. sudo power off and password is necessary network node 3 will be shut down so tomorrow when we come in we need to boot that up now note it takes some time for the nodes to boot sometimes so that's uh, maybe not the best option uh, but node 3 is powered off node 2 uh, if you don't want to do it from the command line you can uh, sort of pull the plug on the computer you can simply say power off here and like pulling the plug on a computer, you may lose some data, uh, but it shouldn't be a problem in most cases. Power off node two. But again, because we often don't want to have to reboot them and wait for them, maybe the best option is to save their state. So don't power them off. With VirtualBox, they, we can just save where they're currently running. So the next time we want to start, we just uh, uh, start from where we left off. So to do so, when node one is running, right click, close it, but choose save state. Save state will save that uh, node. So if I wanted to start node two, I'd have to boot the Linux computer again. It would take some time, but to start node one, we would just click start now, let's save. It restores it from a file and we're automatically logged in to node one and we have uh, we can take off from where we, we finished last time. So the best way I recommend if you want to shut down the nodes, don't shut them down, save their state so you can start them fresh next time. If you want to get rid of them and you no longer need what the configuration, uh, then you can shut them down, close, either save state or power off and if you want to start from scratch, the best way is just delete them. Select them all, remove, delete all the files. And the next time you'll need to uh, run the command script to clone the base again. Now that will take time, but it's a way to, to refresh everything. And now we can run our script to uh, recreate uh, a new topology or an existing topology, but it'll be fresh.